Hello and welcome to a quick showcase video on the tool Everything. But what is everything, you ask? Well, everything is everything you will ever need to find your files in Windows. But why would we need everything for that? Don't we already have an integrated search tool called Windows Search? Ah, well, I am sure most of you know the feeling of trying to find some file on your PC with the Windows Search but not being able to find it. For example, I know that I have two files called 4374.txt on this PC. If I type it in here though, it won't find it. I can click on Documents and then Search in File Explorer, but let's just say the performance could be improved. It takes the system a total of 45 seconds to find both the files. That is why I want to show you a alternative to the Windows search that I use daily. My tool of choice for not just searching, but actually finding files is called Everything. Please note that this video is only a showcase and I will not be diving into all the features or technical depth of the program. I will, however, show a few examples and comparisons with Windows Search. So, let's see how everything does in comparison to our example above. I open it up, and even while I type in the name of my file, it already shows me the amount of results after every character written. And this works for huge amounts of data as well. On my main Unraid server, I have just shy of 50 terabytes, made up of around 4.43 million files, all connected via network drives to the PC, and it still works instantaneously. Now, to be fair, Windows Search does feature indexing options to make searching for files quicker. But it comes with some drawbacks. First of, you can't add any network drives to the index. Secondly, the indexing itself takes many times longer in comparison to everything. And thirdly, the search is still slower and more restricted than with everything. To showcase just a few of the ways everything can help you find exactly the file you are looking for, you can use wildcards, for example, by typing 12 star 4.txt you only get results that start with 12 and end with 4.txt. Or you can type star 9 star.pdf to get any PDF with a 9 in it. You can add multiple strings that have to be in the file name, like update and windows. This will show you results where both the word update and the word windows are in the file name. If you want to search for a file that is exactly update windows, you just have to put it in quotation marks. If you want a result that first has update and then windows, you can type star update star windows star. This allows anything before update, anything after update, as long as at some point windows appears, and then after windows anything goes. The tool also provides case matching, word matching, path matching, and diacritics matching, as well as regex. Any search you make can easily be added as a filter by clicking on the Add to Filters button. For example, I can type star.pdf and add that to a filter named PDF. If I now select this filter, I have all results filtered to only show PDFs and can now search within that filter. But let's say you don't even remember what the file name you are looking for is. Not a problem with everything. You can open the advanced search, which can also look inside of a file. Searching for file content does take a while, as the program does not index the content of files. That being said, in the newest alpha release 1.5, the feature to index file content has also been added. As I am running 1.4.1, I do not have access to that feature yet. Because of that, I will restrict the search to just the C temp folder, which contains 13,000 files with 3.74 gigabytes of total size. 
A bit more than 1,500 of those files are public domain ebooks with hundreds of pages of text. If I search for universe, it takes around 34 seconds to find all 601 files that contain the word universe. If we do the same in the Windows Explorer search after activating file content in the advanced options, it takes around 50 seconds to finish searching. And also only finds 576 out of the actual 601 files. Let's compare the speeds on a network drive. My network drive M has the exact same content as my C temp folder. Windows takes around 3 minutes to find its 576 files. Everything takes around 1 minute and 12 seconds and once again finds 601 files. So, in both cases everything is substantially faster in finding results. And I'm not even going to go into detail about the clunkiness of actually working with the Windows search results. Like just trying to sort them by name and triggering a whole new 2 minute and 30 second search. And then, after the new search, not even having Windows sort them correctly. As this video is only meant as a super short showcase, I haven't even begun to really dive into the extensively long advanced search option menu, which includes many more ways to search for your files. I have linked a page down below that lists all the different ways you can search for your files. To round this video off, I'll show you one example of a more complex search. Let's say I want to find a file that is a PDF. For that, I can select the PDF filter that I created earlier. Now, I also know I worked with this file in the last 10 days, so I add dm colon last 10 days. I also know I created it sometime this year, so I add dc colon this year. It's somewhere on my M drive, so I add m colon backslash. I also know it's bigger than 10 kilobytes, but smaller than 100 kilobytes. So I add size colon 10 KB dot dot 100 KB. All in all, I think everything is a great search tool to help you find the files you're looking for. If you think this tool is worth trying out, then head over to this video where I go through the initial installation and setup process for everything.